Hi, I'm Sina Racina and welcome back to Triangle Strategy. This is episode 15 right now, so let's start. Alright, so last episode we defeated General Ablora and we took the castle Glenbrook. So now we are going to deal with, well, the fallout of everything. Since it seems people are not happy. And also we have the little, little, bitty, itty, tiny problem of Hyacinth. You know, being now an ever, uh, like, an ever looming presence. So let's load. And let's see. Yes, don't worry, I have already made my own save, so... I'm ready for everything, I think. I have level grinded quite a lot, by the way. After retaking Whiteholm Castle, Roland assumes the throne. Joy over the return of the line of Glenbrook sweeps the kingdom. Yet not everyone is quick to welcome Roland back with open arms. Life under as frosty rule treated them well, and they suspect him to be naught but a figurehead of a puppet regime. Roland's absence, it seems, made room for discord among his subjects to flourish. Chapter 15, Part 1, A Banner's Word. Okay, here we go. Already pretty level grinded. Level 25, so I shouldn't be taken by surprise this time. Hopefully. So that is what happened in my absence. Yes. Gustadolf was a clever ruler. After the invasion, Patriot and his royalists cozied up to Esbros in order to protect themselves. Gustadolf used them to his every advantage. He stripped them of their privileges and left them nothing but their governing responsibilities. I don't think Patriot much cared for that, but it did ensure everything continued smoothly without interrupting the people's lives. Now I understand why there was little unrest after the occupation began. A clean, effective takeover by a well-seasoned commander. But all the while, he was preparing to face the next conflict. Wait... Does he intend to march on Hyzant next? I believe so. I wish I could be more specific. But the Goddess's shield cannot protect the Holy State's capital from Esfrost. Not anymore. He said it will all be over once the Death Snell is ready. What is this Death Snell? Dynamite. A new weapon born from the coupling of his frosty ironworking and explosive projectiles. A missile? Thallus claimed it is powerful enough to break through the goddess's shield. To think Esfrost is capable of creating such a monstrosity. Ah, so much for their reign of peace. Taking over Glenbrook was only the first move in a bigger gambit to seize the source. I am disturbed to learn of Gustadolf's plan. But rebuilding our capital must take priority. Very well. We should investigate the extent of the damage and discuss how best to proceed from there. House Wolfort will lend whatever aid you need. Thank you, Serenoa. But since you are one of their saintly seven now, I'd ask you to keep an eye on Hyzant as well. <sighs> Cordelia? Apologies. A brief spell of dizziness. I have been looking everywhere for you, Your Highness. Has she been poisoned? A patriot. I do not recall giving you leave of the infirmary. Your injuries are still healing. Ah, why did you undo all the trouble I went through to get you the best of care? Pray return to the infirmary at once. <sighs> it wouldn't do to push yourself, Cordelia. Rest now. Leave everything to me. All right. When did she go to her? I don't remember. Mm, nope. Can't remember when they were captured, but that was a long time ago at this point, I think. Oh dear. We got a pretty good understanding of the damage in the capital, my lord. It's uh, a tad more than we were expecting. I see. Then we must make haste with repairs. Let's report this to Hyzant and see what aid they can give us. 
Was there anything of note besides damage? There ain't an easy way of putting this, but not everyone's exactly pleased to hear Prince Roland's returned. S. Frost exempted Glenbrook's subjects from the salt tax, likely a bid to get in everyone's good graces, and a damn good one at that. But more than that, the so-called freedom Gustadolf brought to the kingdom seems to have made a splash. He threw out the old ways and made it so anyone could better their lot in life dependent on their ability instead of their birthright. Just as in Esfrost. Then the people must have looked quite favorably upon Gustadolf's rule. I wager folks ain't too pleased to see us since they figure it means things will go back to how they used to be. Uh, Roland surmised as much. We must do something to show the people his is a return worth celebrating. Anna, have you looked into the state of affairs in the castle? Yes. The head of the Royalists, Minister Patriot, is extending his influence. He made quite the name for himself, even under Gustadolf. Though he seems eager enough to support King Roland, he was just as eager to serve the Archduke. I do not believe we can trust him. Oh, I speak of the devil. Distinguished members of House Wolfort, how hard you are all working to rebuild our capital. What a delightful thing to see. Minister, you do us a great honor visiting us out of all the many other responsibilities that must vie for your attention. <laughs> that was a back backhanded compliment if I ever seen one. Oh, come now, do not think yourself so insignificant. The entire kingdom owes you its thanks. Myself included, of course. And he countered back. We are so grateful for House Wolford's aid, even though you now serve a different master. Ooh, and doubles down on You're it. You're only doing what any of King Roland's loyal vassals would. Ah, snap. Ah, oh, speaking of the king, I'm afraid we've a bit of a problem. His majesty seems to be entertaining thoughts of retaliating against Esfrost. But the people have had their fill of war. And I'm sure you're already aware the people look upon the royal line with disfavor. <sighs> I only beg you take every care going forward. A warning. Even so, there is naught we can do but focus on rebuilding. Indeed. Let us return to the king and apprise him of our progress. I would walk the city with Sheila a bit longer and speak with the people. As you wish. But this is not the capital you knew. Be careful, my love. Uh, I will send Anna with them. Because, yeah, this place doesn't look safe. Okay, this is where I left off after I did my level grind. So, I'll be right back in just one second. That second has seen, since passed. Uh, we have a lot of character stories because, you know, we've been grinding quite a bit. So let's get started. There are 17 of them. We are starting at 9 minutes exactly. Well, 8, 56, 7, 8, 9. 9 minutes exactly. Let's go. Let's see how long it takes. Must you go, sir? Oh, Maxwell? I regret to say I must. I have been idle for long enough. But know this. I shall forever be indebted to the Roselle. I know not why fate delivered my battered body to the shores of your village, but I am fortunate that it did. I owe my life to your kindness. Thank you. You'll have no doubt with us. We only did what was right. I didn't recognize it without but his where mask. Will you go? Safety is a luxury few are afforded these days. The war rages still, and so long as it does, I must fight with every inch of my being to end it. A single man can't fix this tangled mess of a world. Ah, but I am not alone. 
Every moment my allies risk life and limb without me is a moment I owe them for their bravery. I must rejoin them at once. I see there's no convincing you otherwise. Very well. But we expect to hear news of your victory soon. I sense the world is on the cusp of great change. Change for the better. When it comes, let us celebrate its arrival together. Well met, friends. I require passage to see Lord Serenoa. And who are you? If you want an audience, you'll have to wait behind the rest. Wait. That cape, it can't be. You're Sir Maxwell. My lord, Sir Maxwell has returned. Yay! <laughs> My apologies for my abrupt departure, my lord. Full glad am I to see you have managed without me. Sir Maxwell, you're alive. Aye, and none the worse for wear, I hope. It seems fate would have me take up my spear once more. That reaction was a little subdued, but whatever. Where have you been? We all... we all feared the worst. Avlora's fell blow cast me into the river and its cold embrace washed away my memories, along with my pride. I awoke in a village of kind-hearted folk. I might have stayed there, blissful in ignorance, had news of your exploits not reached them. It was then that old memories stirred, prideful memories, painful memories. My purpose became clear. I must end this war or perish in the attempt. I hope that I have not come too late to make a difference. Of course not. We would be honored to have you fight by our side. Indeed. I only hope you can say the same for us, Don Spear. Oh, fantastic. I wonder if he was the one that was training the Roselle protecting the village. Because remember, the, the Roselle that helped us some episodes ago also fought with a spear. Which I found very interesting, that's why I remember it. Well, welcome back, Sir Maxwell. Ooh, Maxwell's aptitude in battle, Roland's instructor and the finest lancer, uh, lancer in all of Glenbrook. It specializes in mid-range attacks, possesses multiple powerful abilities. Great. So helping the Roselle in the end turned out pretty well. Now we have the downspear with us. Let's check the rooster or roster. Level 22. And without his mask. I wonder if Roland is gonna give it back. He still has the Gungnir, but he's level one. Actually let's let's give you equipment since we are here. I bought some stuff. Let's see your aptitudes. Okay, you need, I guess, magical defense. Lo unlock. Uh, that's what I would give you. So, do I have amulets for that? Just checking. Uh, doesn't seem like I have, you know, something for that. So I'll give you this strength amulet and a magic defense ring. Yeah. Let's see your abilities. Sorry, run button. Triple thrust, deal physical damage to a single enemy, run through. Move uh, four squares in a straight line, dealing physical damage to any enemies in three squares along the way. That's cool. Lancer, deal physical damage to an enemy, has greater range than triple throws. Counter stance, chance to do counter stance. Okay, that's a passive ability. Attack by an enemy. Two birds, one stone. 
passive skill grants one TP when attacking four more enemies at the same time. Oh, all right. So, Sir Maxwell is for crowd control, I think. Uh, microphone working, yes. All right. Well, let's go to the next story. Let's stop gushing about Sir Maxwell. Hail and well met, my good fellow. Lionel greets you most heartily. Ah, Clara spoke of you. Lionel, you say? The very same, and in a position of privilege for which he is most grateful. A privilege that he would be most happy to share with the consortium, that it might prove to our mutual benefit. Oh, a fellow man with an eye for profit, I see. What privilege have you brought me today? A worldly fellow such as yourself has doubtless heard rumors of Hyzant's clandestine research projects, yes? Indeed I have. Developing weapons of devastating power, unlocking the secrets of eternal life. What if Lionel were to tell you that Hyzant has in fact created an elixir that offers everlasting youth? I would be intrigued, and then I'd ask you, how you could possibly know such a thing. It's a simple matter of logic. Think. Why would Hyzant hide the existence of so wondrous a panacea? Hmm. I suppose they'd want to keep such power to them and theirs. Just so. The only thing kings and nobles covet more than salt is life itself. <laughs> My lord is no exception. What are you saying? That those you serve have procured this miracle drug? Lionel has found himself welcome within nobility's most inner circles, he is proud to say, and privy to their secret conversations. He also finds himself in possession of a certain medicine, a medicine he would be happy to part with a share of for the right price. A price I'd be more than willing to pay for such an incredible elixir. Do tell me, what exactly does it do? What doesn't it do? Its imbiber is blessed with unyielding vigor, unflagging stamina, and unmitigated vitality. Demand has proven so overwhelming that Lionel cannot hope to deliver the goods all on his own. He would be willing to share his profits with the right partner, however. If you've won the nobles' trust, then I see no reason to hesitate in helping you take some of their coin. Very well. Let me see the goods. <laughs> that makes ten, who put their lust for coin before their capacity for reason. This is almost too easy. With a few rumors and a respected name at his disposal, Lionel could sell these gullible fools their own shoes. <laughs> They're welcome to help themselves to this purgative. And if one or two of them is remarkably long-lived, then all the better for Lionel. And are you content to make your fortune on the backs of fools? <laughs> Hello, Anna. Oh, you? How long have you been there? Since the morning, on Benedict's orders. Hmm. Your overseer is too kind. However, you may return and inform him that Lionel needs no protection. His work to bring fortune to House Walfort requires the utmost concentration, and the presence of others can prove an unnecessary distraction. He really likes to talk, doesn't he? Alright, next one. 
Oh, Granny. Let's see what Granny is up to. Might I sit here for a bit? Oh, sorry. If you don't mind the company of this old maid, you're more than welcome. Well now, shall we have ourselves a little chat to pass the time? By all means. I would like nothing more than to hear of your exploits in the Salt Iron War. I have read much of your surpassing prowess on the battlefield, but would be honored to learn more in your own words. Oh, child. That was so many, many years ago. How many enemies did I fell on the battlefield? I long since lost count. They say my very name was feared throughout the land. You and others may call them exploits. The truth is, I was nothing more than a skilled dealer of death. You sound as if you regret it. Against fellow soldiers and warriors like myself, no, that is simply the way of war. But my acts also brought suffering to those who did not deserve it. The Roselle, for example. The Roselle? How so? I was leading a siege on the citadel of the Sands in Hyzant, not far from the source. The Hyzantian commander was a worthy foe. The battle drew on, and we were losing men and resources with little to show for it. Seeking to end the battle quickly, I chose to raise the fort with wildfire, and so it fell. All too late did I learn that its jails were filled with Roselle, captured slaves who had fled servitude at the lake. But you did not know they were there. You can hardly blame yourself for their fate. Do you think the Roselle who roasted to death would say the same? What of their families? You cannot forgive yourself for this, even so many years later. And why should I? Because my countrymen sing of me as a hero? To this day, visions of charred bodies lying in the rubble haunt me. Lumps of burnt flesh that were once men and women who wished only for their freedom. At first, I tried to forget. But the weight of my sins was too heavy to bear, and so I abandoned everything and left my home behind. Fortunately, I had already trained a protege to follow in my place. And ever since then, you've wandered the realm alone? Yes, but no matter how far I traveled, I could not escape my regrets. And now, Norzelia finds itself embroiled in another bloody struggle. The horrors of the past come anew. If fighting is all I am good for, then the least I can do is fight for peace. It may not atone for the death and suffering I have wrought, but at least it may save others from the same fate. I... I'm sorry. It was not my intention to make you relive such painful memories. <laughs> Worry not, lass. Truth be told, it's something I'd been hoping to get off my chest for a while now. But this old maid's rambled on long enough, I reckon. Thank you for the company, child. I wonder who her replacement was. Asking for a friend. I haven't I don't remember having faced a martial artist before. Okay, let's go with Quaho. He can see through time. And we've been going for four, uh, 24 minutes now, so... So you can peer through time? I think 16 minutes? How did you come to possess such a power? I cannot say. I've been having these visions for as long as I can remember. Hmm. Were I able to see the future like you, I could be of more use to House Wolfort. It isn't all good, you know. Sometimes you see things you wish you hadn't. I saw myself being abandoned by my mother.
He is in your hands now. Here is the money we agreed upon. Take this, too. Thank you for your generosity. I shall take good care of him. You shall speak of this to no one. Make sure he wants for nothing. I will return for you one day, Kohawk. Until that time, be good. Well, that was a lie. And then the vision ends. Whenever I think of my mother, I always see that woman. I don't understand it at all. But I know that lady is my mother. She promised she would return, but... She never came back. I've asked the villagers what my mother gave them, but... They claim to have received nothing. I know I saw it, though. Have you had visions of your mother since? No. Poor fella. She left me after all. Oh, mother. Why? And where are you now? Kohawk. Hey, good. This was a short one. Okay, let's go with the old man now. Hmm. Master Archibald, is there something on your mind? Ah. Goddess be good. I must be getting on in years for you to be able to sneak up on me like that. What troubles you? I was only reminiscing. Indeed, days like these tend to blow my mind back a couple of decades or more. <laughs> reminiscing about what? The Salt Iron War. Hard to believe it's been 30 whole years. Some days I almost forget my time as one of the saintly seven. I defended the Citadel of Sand through the conflict. I was there when Esfrost attacked. A number of Roselin prisoners who tried to escape the source were there too. Including Our Lady Frederica's dear mother. What's this? She stayed behind all by herself to help the countless numbers of her fellow Roselle flee. That's how she was captured. But I knew we couldn't hold the Citadel. So I helped her and her friends escape in secret before the enemy attacked. The wind blew just as hard that night as it's blowing now. I'll never forget watching the Roselle caked all over in mud as they slipped away into the dark. So you didn't want innocents to get caught up in the coming battle? It never settled right with me. The way the goddess's teachings permitted abuse of the Roselle for the supposed sins of their past. A person's life isn't worth more or less just because of the conditions of their birth. Well, yes, more indeed. than anything. I was moved by the selfless acts of Lady Frederica's mother. She reminded me of what I had once aspired to be. She was able to do what I never could. Risk her life to save her friends. I couldn't let someone like that die. Not on my watch. It wasn't long until the other saintly seven discovered what I'd done. They branded me a traitor, stripped me of my title, and sentenced me to death. Of course, I slipped out of their clutches before they could have my head. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I wandered for a while before taking up life as a merchant under the King of Glenbrook's patronage. I never knew you and Lady Frederica's mother shared such a past. I didn't even know he was part of the Saintly Seven. Or if there was it, if it was mentioned, well, I really forgot. It is in the past. Anyway, let us return. 
This cold night wind is making my old bones ache something fierce. Interesting. You know, these little side story bits are pretty good if you are into the characters and the relationships. Wait, weren't we already in 13? Did something... Oh, it opened another story of him. I see. Oh boy, here we go. Well, let's go with Benedict. I always keep forgetting his name. That's why I, I always like make a brief pause because I'm trying to remember it. All right, lads and lasses, lay down your arms. Let your bruises remind you of the lessons learned today. Ah, what fortuitous timing. I still owe you for the drinks from the other evening. I wondered if I might treat you tonight. Apologies, lass, but I've got places to be. Perhaps another time. He seemed troubled by something. Perhaps I'm overthinking it. Let us end our day's work here. It is early, is it not? Is something amiss? No, nothing at all. Just my attention is required elsewhere for a time. Elsewhere? Curious. How many have you had? <laughs> Not enough. Just one for you, I take it. Yes. Went by in a flash. Can you believe it's been 30 years? The time has escaped us. The memory of that day, however, I doubt ever will. Thirty years ago, during the South Iron War. Ugh. Thrice damned, can't move. Always thought I'd meet my end with a beautiful lass by my side. You have many days ahead of you yet, Erador. We will see you returned home. Don't try to run, you curs! Leave me be. I'll just slow you down. It was my cursed pride that got us into this. <laughs> Only I should suffer for it. We don't all need to die today. Run! Even in the face of death, you refuse to set aside your foolish pride. I followed you into this hell of my own will, and I will see you delivered from it. <clears throat> you fool! Charge! Come, come and die. Yeah! Benedict, you have a cane. All of them have swords. It's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. That would have been it for us had Lord Simon not met their charge in time. Aye. And the only punishment for my pride were these aches that keep me awake at night. We hungered for glory all those years ago, without a care for how it would serve us later on. A couple of would-be heroes who couldn't be convinced they weren't invincible. Yet here we are, drinking, to celebrate the end of that war. I do not wish to reminisce upon the past. A toast that I may never again repeat the mistakes of my youth. Ah, uh, but before that... Yeah? 
You have served House Wolfort well, Eridor. That said, I have a feeling we'll need your sturdy shield even more going forward. You need me to lead a charge? I'm your man. I'll leave anything fancier than that to you. The sprite work is great, like... For House Wolfort! Holding the cops For and everything. House Wolfort. Hey, they even made the, the little cheer thing. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I guess that's what you get when you pay for a, a, a big game like this from a big company. Well, not a big game, or is it? Yeah, I would say so. Roland, what are you doing out here? There's hardly a better place to become lost in one's thoughts. Don't you agree? I suppose. However, if aught weighs on your mind, it may serve you better to turn to a friend. Then let me ask, do you believe me too immature for my station? Not at all. Quite the opposite, in fact. But the other nobles loved to gossip of my disinterest in politics and intrigue. And mocked my love of hawking. You said it yourself. Gossip and sniping, nothing more. <laughs> Pay no mind to nobles and their petty judgments. The people who matter, your subjects, hold you dearly in their hearts. Stories abound of their love for you. Hey, go peddle your junk somewhere else. And why would I do that, my good sir? I see no reason to forego such a bustling avenue simply to please a stranger. A stranger? You're posted in front of my damn shop. You're stealing my customers from right under my nose. Oh, I am? I'm not sure your lack of customers could be blamed on me. Surely the proprietor bears some responsibility for... What bickering is this? None of your business, Whelp. Now leave us to our negotiations. Prince Roland? Is that really you? A prince, you say? Well, I... A distinguished gentleman such as yourself must be mortified to have your customers bear witness to this childish bickering. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Your Highness. My temper got the best of me. And you, merchant. If you mean to trade in Glenbrook, I trust you have procured the proper licenses and approvals. Whoops. I, well, the process takes some days, you see. Pardon, your highness. Then your business shall have to wait some days, it seems. Shall I summon a member of the Kingsguard to explain the law in detail? N no, there'll be no need of that, highness. I'll just be on my way. Thank you, Prince Roland. Come visit any time, and I'll let you have your pick of my wares. <sighs> your place has always been with your people. You could walk down the main avenue and settle disputes with a single word. <laughs> Don't tell me you were watching. They were petty arguments, nothing more. As petty as they might have been, you were happy to do it. What better proof of royalty is there than that? But it wasn't because I was wise that I solved their problems. It was my name and status that let my words wait. Hmm. How do you imagine a kingdom with not a single dissatisfied soul would look? Hmm... That's a difficult thing to imagine. Indeed. I suppose the best one can hope for is to do what we can. 
while we can. Well, we can start envisioning such a nation. That one day we might build it. Together. I like the sound of that. No doubt the answers we seek lie ahead. So long as we stay honest with ourselves. And so long as we work together. You and I, Sarah Noah. All right, another interesting bit of of Roland's past. Let's go to Frederica. Let's see what she's up to. Do you have a moment, Gila? Oh, Frederica, is something the matter? Well, I invited Sarah Noah to have dinner with me tonight. That's wonderful. Are you cooking for him? I am. I've been practicing with the book you gave me. I was hoping to finally show him what I've learned. Then allow me to help. What are you making? A warm soup full of meatballs. A hearty, meaty, savory stew to tickle the tongue and sate the stomach. Or so the book describes it. That sounds like quite a mouthful, in more ways than one. The author is rather verbose, yes. Anyhow, I also want to make an appetizer. Might you be able to lend a hand? Cooking is hardly my specialty, but say no more. I'd love to. Oh, dear. This is disappointing, to say the least. And we're almost out of time. Sarah Noah will be back any minute now. Excuse me, Lady Frederica. Lord Sarah Noah has just sent word that he has been held up at a meeting. He says there is a chance he may not even return tonight. I see. Thank you for letting me know. It sounds like your dinner may get postponed. A blessing in disguise. It gives us time to cook this again and do it right this time. Lord Saranoa may not even return tonight. But there is a chance he might. And I refuse to disappoint him. Would you help me, Gila? Of course, Frederica. I shall do my very best to see this through with you. I cannot thank you enough. The vegetables are done, though they are a far cry from perfect. The meatballs are ready too. Now all we have to do is stew them. Frederica, I'm back. Oh, welcome back. It appears we've run out of time. I was on my way here when something urgent came to my attention. I apologize for returning so late. I know we were supposed to have dinner tonight. I am just happy you're here. Besides, I am the one who should apologize. I wanted to cook you a meal, but failed terribly on my first attempt, so it isn't yet ready. I'm sorry, Sarah Noah. Don't look so down, Frederica. I was delighted when you asked me to share a meal. Now that I'm back, why don't I help you with the food? Sarah Noah. Thank you again for inviting me. I'm overjoyed we could spend this time together. As am I. I enjoyed cooking with you as well. The time we spend together is very precious to me. I regret that my duties have been keeping us apart lately. But when I noticed the sky was even more beautiful than ever this night, I 
hurried home, hoping we could gaze upon its beauty together. It's strange. When I was in Esfrost, I would look up at the same sky. But it felt so much colder there. The stars seemed as if frozen. They did not twinkle the way they do now that I am with you, Saranoa. Frederica, <sighs> promise me that you will always stay by my side. I need you, now more than ever. Of course, Saranoa. I wish to gaze up at the same sky, sit beneath the same moon, and walk the same path you do. Together, forever and always. That was a really beautiful scene. Let's continue with Anna. Oh, Jesus Christ, we've been going at it for almost 40 minutes now. Maybe I should make this its own episode. Under this tree. Sorry. This here's the land of the Jacks clan. Or used to be more like. That clasp on your chest, that's their sigil, if I'm not mistaken. It's a memento from my parents. Or so I was told. Aye, now that I'm looking for it, I can see the resemblance. Same silvery hair and everything. Villages near here met with a pretty terrible fate. They begged the armies to spare their fields. The only one who listened was one of House Wolfort's bannermen. No one was surprised, big war hero that he was. But by the time we got here, the Jacks had been all but exterminated. He was digging graves for the dead, enemy and all. A hero and a gentleman he was. Names on the tip of my tongue. Benedict. Aye, that was it. Do you know the man? I'd like you to pass on my gratitude, if you do. Thanks for showing me the way. Your coin's all the thanks I require. If that's all you'll be needing me for, I'll leave you to it. You make a poor stalker. Oh. Ain't exactly what I'm built for. You fought in the battle here, didn't you? Benedict swore me to secrecy. But suppose it ain't break an oath if you already know. Oh, but first I ought to tell you. You've the right to the truth. And those ain't my words. They're his. That's why he never tried to stop you from finding out about your parents. You know of their fate? We drove the enemy up the clifftop. Cornered him there. The same instant we cut their leader down, a babe cried out in the distance. Oh. In the hideout, we found you, all swaddled up. A letter pinned to you with that same clasp on your chest. Live strong, Anna. Stronger than any. I see now. Your family died at our hands. If it's vengeance you want, you can take it out on me. That doesn't sound like the Eridor I know. Do you think so little of me? To assume I would forsake my friend? bloody my hands with revenge. I know the truth at last. That is enough. Is it, Anna? Or are you forcing it to be? Don't be a fool. 
Benedict is the one who raised me. If I ever want for a father, I know where to find him. When we've won this war, I shall make sure he understands that. That's heavy, man. Okay, we are, I think, halfway through. Erador. Let's go. Let's see what the old man is up to now. Ah! Made it in time, time, my lord. Erador, you came. Lady Destra. Your mother was loved by one and all, my lord. Honoring her this day is the least we can do. Is it just you here, my lord? We are beset on all sides by tasks, large and small. I would not impose my familial obligations on the others. <laughs> Spoken like a true leader. Me and your mother may not have been family by blood, but duty bound us just as close. I am sure she would have been overjoyed to see you by my side. I never had a chance to know her. My only memories are from stories others told me. And still, I somehow can feel the warmth of her embrace. Hear the loving sound of her voice. She was smitten, that is true. She held on to you so tightly. I reckon not even the Dawn Spear could have pried you from her. <laughs> Did she? Lady Destra's smile was brighter than the sun, and near as constant. She treated young Benedict and I like little brothers, though at times we weren't so deserving of her care. Even so, she always had a kind word and worry enough to spare. There weren't a woman like her in all of Narzelia. I did not know the bond between you three ran so deep. Benedict never mentioned it. His lips aren't as loose as mine, especially when it comes to Lady Destra. Speaking of which, here. Your mother would have loved to get one of these from you. A snowbell? My father mentioned her fondness for these flowers. Every year when I visited her, without fail, one of these would be placed in front of her grave. Was that you all this time? Uh, well, not exactly, my lord. They're quite rare, are they not? I often search for them, but I have yet to see one in bloom. Where did you find it? Uh, well, I made a journey down south. Benedict insisted. Apologies for my absence, my lord. There is not to apologize for. It was a thoughtful gesture, and I thank you for it. Somehow, I can feel Mother smiling down upon us. <laughs> More than I deserve, if I'm being honest. Huh. There's already a snowbell. Who could have... Should have known. Nothing will stop him from his duty. What was that? Hmm? Uh, it was nothing, my lord. Seems we're not the only ones carrying a torch for Lady Destra. Indeed. We are fortunate to be part of such a close-knit house. And that is thanks to those who serve it. I trust I'll see you here again in a year's time, Erador. Of course, my lord. Snowbells might capture a moment in time, but your mother inspired loyalty for an eternity. Yeah, as I was mentioning, maybe I should make this its own episode, like episode 15.5 or something like that. Because, yeah, we've been going through a lot of this and we still have more to go, eight more to go. 
It's now Hewitt, and we're already almost at the one hour mark. At it again, eh? You know, even the Dawn Spear set down his weapon on occasion. <laughs> We're at war. I cannot hope to end it by being idle. <laughs> Spoken like a true member of the King's Guard. You lot were always too serious for my tastes. We were not serious enough. Where is the king we were meant to protect now? What will become of his kingdom? <sighs> Whoops. King Regna and Crown Prince Franny are no more. Only Roland and Cordelia remain. When I think of how lonely my charge must feel, I almost feel smothered by the guilt. If he's lonely, he hides it well. Could be that losing his princely obligations has lifted a weight off his shoulders. And who are you to speak on his feelings? His father ever doted on Franny. He knew precious few moments of his mother's love before she passed. Even so, he tried his utmost to never show weakness in front of his sister. He was there for her in the worst of times. There was never a place near the throne for him. Truth be told, Sir Maxwell was more of a father to him than anyone. I'd like to think I have been more than his guard. Oftentimes, I felt like his confidant. I know you want to be something else, Hewitt. You and Flugi are constant companions. As I said before, my prince, he is more than my companion. He is the truest friend I could ask for. A true friend? I must admit, I envy your relationship. My prince, I did not mean to... Tis nothing to apologize for. I simply find the idea of soaring the skies with a true friend to be somewhat... Romantic. You could do the same with the proper training. If it pleases you, my prince, I would gladly teach you. You would? Then I gladly accept. I trust you will go easy on me. I can promise no such thing. You must become as ferocious as a hawk yourself if you wish to ride one. War broke out soon after that. My promise to teach him is yet unfulfilled. So I will train, I will fight, until the skies are no longer clouded by the fires of war. Only then can I rest. Only then can we fly free. Perhaps then, with the wind in our faces, we can forget our stations. Our titles, if only just for one moment. Uh, what was that last part? You'll have to speak up. Nothing, nothing at all. Yes, it's back to training for me. So I just Google it and this chapter only has two parts, so uh, and the second part didn't sound like a battle, so we may be okay. This is just going to be, you know, a bunch of story bits. Okay, seven more, here we go. It's become late. We best keep an eye out for bandits. You have a warrior's intuition. You needn't worry. I won't let us come to harm. It takes no great intuition to see that this world is falling ever deeper into chaos. The reasons, however, remain elusive. Will we see our way safely through this darkness? I cannot say. We have naught but our duty, and mine is to Prince Roland. 
whatever might become of House Wolfort. I find your perspective refreshing. Although it may be direct, you walk the path you've chosen with confidence. On the other hand, I often feel that I'm fumbling. I had thought Gustadov to be a man of reason. But now I see that he will not hesitate to employ deceit to achieve his goals. In a manner of speaking, he and I are not so different. I, too, once hoped to have the influence to change the nation. At least, I told myself so. Really, all I wanted was to be free. And Frederica was simply a means to that end. As long as I had what I wanted, I had no great concern for what became of her. Gila, I... But this war has caused me to reconsider that. I realize that Frederica herself is worth caring for. She's not the sheltered princess I took her to be. Her wits are a match even for Benedict. She surprised me and shamed me. I was wrong to underestimate her, to define her by her birth and station. She represents my greatest failures as a teacher, but also my greatest success. For she has truly taken my lessons to heart. I see now there is no shame in serving another, and no shame in sacrificing my freedom for something greater. Oh, but perhaps I've shared overmuch. For some reason, I find it easy to talk with you. The feeling is mutual. You are not so aloof as I thought. Ah! I've just had a thought. When the war is behind us, I may very well open my own school. What? <laughs> that was so sudden. Of course, you would be welcome to join me. I would be master of the classroom, and you could be master of the training yard. We could teach our students the art of hawksmanship. Our riders would be first class. Ah, what should our school be named? You will come and teach with me, won't you? <laughs> Not half so aloof as I thought. Yeah, I'm actually like that. When I'm just meeting people, yeah, I'm just uh, pretty quiet and reserved. But, you know, after a few minutes of talking, I lose up. Although, it really depends. There are some people I just really outright don't like, so I will treat them like as hostile as possible without resorting to violence. What's so urgent you can't let a man sleep? Nothing less than the completion of my groundbreaking research, Eridor. Oh. Well now, that is something. Indeed it is. I've managed to thermodynamically stabilize the quasi-liquid film forming on the surface of the... Yes, yes, I've heard all that. Now tell it to me in words a man can understand. <sighs> right, well, in layman's terms, I have created ice that never melts. See how simple... Did you say ice that never melts? That's mighty impressive and all, but what actual good does that do anyone? My dear, sweet, simple Eridor. We can use my creation to forge weapons with no need for iron. Oh, wow. I was just thinking of, you know, building materials, but not for weapons. Sounds useful, if it works as you say. But how's the durability? Silly soldier, do you take me for a fool? Of course I tested their durability. Worry not. A prototype shall arrive shortly. I bid you try it out for yourself. For better or worse, you're the most experienced soldier I know. And so I'd have you handle it first. That sounds big and important. I reckon I'll take you up on it. What news? Surely it's finished by now. Afraid not. I come bearing unfortunate news from the smithy. 
It seemed plenty sturdy at first, but shattered the moment he took a hammer to it. He says it has a long way to go before it can be used in place of iron, I'm afraid. Oh. Preposterous! My calculations were impeccable. Surely I have not forsaken my homeland in pursuit of a fool's errand. That's all a bit dramatic, isn't it? You can't have a breakthrough without breaking a couple of ice blades. You know what would wash away all that pain? A nice cold glass of spirits. Uh, spirits? That's it! That unmelted ice of yours could chill him forever, could it not? <laughs> Crown breaking indeed! This invention of yours could still take the world by storm. <laughs> and I reckon the army'd have use for it as well. It'd keep our rations from going off. <laughs> Weapons be damned. You've done very important work. The fact remains that my calculations were in error. So forgive me my reluctance to. Less sulking, more drinking. You succeeded, haven't you? Right then, this'll be my treat, and I won't be turning in till you do. Very well. Scientific breakthroughs never come easily, I suppose. Perhaps my next experiment shall be seeing how many rounds my everlasting ice can chill. Right then, to the encampment with us. Tis time for a drink or three. That's the spirit. <laughs> Just promise me I won't have to haul your drunken ass home this time. Something like the everlasting ice will be revolutionary even for us today. Can you imagine not having to use a fridge to keep your food, you know, in a decent state? You just, you know, you get a cooler and put a bunch of ice that is never going to melt. Also, we want to have to use a lot of electricity with things like ACs. We could just use regular fans with some ice in them. Like place the eyes behind the 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 fan and just let the the cold air breeze through. Huh. Well, let's go uh, see what Isana is up to. Five more stories. We're almost there. We're almost been an hour in doing this, but we're almost there. This episode will probably last three hours. Tell me, why did you bring me all the way out here? Was something unclear in my explanation? Well, truth be told, I was clutching to the hawk for dear life. I could not make out a single word of what you said. Well, then perhaps it's best to simply show you. What? Who? Oh, it can't be. Izana, my love. I'm overjoyed to see you unharmed. Oh, it's that You're guy. Alive. Where have you been? I looked for you. I looked. I caused you worry, and for that I am truly sorry. I went to meet you, but on the way realized that you were being followed by Hyzant's watchdogs. I threw myself at them to serve as a distraction. You managed to escape, I see. So my efforts were not in vain. You fool. You should not have worried about me. What did they... Uh... What's wrong? Are you wounded? <sighs> the Goddess of Salt has scant mercy for those who have renounced her. The marks her scorn left remind me of their presence on cold nights like this. The night I escaped, I fled to my home. However, I returned to naught but ashes. So I fled further, deep into the mountains. There I found refuge with a kindly old woman, where I've lived ever since. Until now, that is. You asked me for my assistance, and I am as good as my word. I hope my efforts did not disappoint. I expect you two have much to talk about. I shan't disturb you any longer. Oh! Mistress Huet here explained to me how you've come to be in their service. I would give anything to aid you in your fight, but... Say no more. 
Do not worry, my love. Leave everything to me. I shall bring this war to an end, so that no more innocent sacrifices are made upon the altar of faith. But for now, let me spend this night by your side. You know, I just realized that I placed the wrong logo. Okay, my it's the wrong watermark. Let's see which one is the right one. I think it's this one. Yeah. Yep. Hey, four more. I can finally see the end of the tunnel. Oh, we're back to you, Grandpa. Let's see what's up. This is what happens uh, when you train everyone at the same time. Who in their right mind sends an old man on a scouting mission? Oh, goddess, take me. I can't wait to retire. Of course, I can't very well do so until the war is over. What will you do once it is? I can't say I have any plans in particular. But there is one regret I'd like to remedy. I'd like to find my first love. I still dream of her. Even all these years later. Ah, uh, that's really cute. She was the general of the S. Frosty forces during the siege of the Citadel of the Sands. The turning point of the Salt Iron War, that was. It's not the old lady, right? Her name. We were enemies, yes, but it was clear from the battle we waged how much we admired one another. She caught a beautiful figure on the battlefield. Her every movement was majestic. More than anything, she was a fearsome warrior. Truly, there is none in the world like her. I wonder what might have been had we met in a tavern instead of as enemies. I see. I hope you can find her then. I mean, yeah, it could be grandpa, as grandma. I, as do I. Oh. Well, looky here. <laughs> Easy mark. Ah, yes, an old man and an old Let's man. Let's get them before they wise up. There. <gasps> he saw us? <laughs> well, we're too far away. Inhumanly possible. M monster! Oh wow, he killed him! Like, you see the blood in there? <laughs> How did you sense those bandits from such a distance? Brats like that will never get the better of me. Until this war is over, I've only begun to fight. I can see you mean that. I wish my senses were as sharp as that one's Irish's ah, age. That's it. I know what I'm going to do when we're done fighting. I'll travel the land till I find the S. Frosty General who caught my eye. It's strange, but I sense her presence wherever I go. Might be she's closer than I think. Yeah, so it's Grandma then. Who else? They've been in the same party for if a while. If that's the case, I'd better do what I can to end this war and fast. Time to work twice as hard for an early retirement. <laughs> Wait, three more again? Oh yes, okay, yeah, we're we're okay. Okay, now I'm, hey. hey uh, Kills an injured child with his grandfather's magic. Oh, I have something to show you after this, by the way. Damn it all. At this rate, I'll never come close to carrying on grandfather's legacy. Maybe I was never destined to be a great mage after all. Oh no, the poor child's fallen. Hey there, are you hurt? Ow, oh, it hurts so bad I can't even stand. Not to worry, I'll fix you right up. So dry those tears. 
He's just standing up, though. Really? Yup. The pain will disappear like magic. You'll see. Wow. It doesn't hurt anymore. Thank you, sir. Grandma, look! My leg's all better now! Well, I'll be. Thank you so much for healing my grandson. You don't need to thank me. This is nothing. Uh, th those robes... You wouldn't happen to be a student of the Archmage Grandante, would you? Oh wow, someone else you know knows my grandfather? Him? Finally! Oh, of course I do. What a great man he was. Always using his magic to help those in need, much like you. I was just one of many whose lives he saved. Why, that was over 30 years ago. I lost my house to the fires of war and nearly my life along with it. But he quenched the flames with his spellcraft and healed my burns. Had it not been for the Archmage Grandante, I would not be here today. I am forever in his debt. Even though Grandfather's name was erased from Hyzant's records, his memory lives on in the people he helped. It sounds like he was a truly amazing man indeed. And I know he would be proud of you for following in his footsteps. <laughs> do you really think so? I do. And I have no doubt that one day you will restore the glory to your grandfather's name. No matter what the Ministry does to erase his existence, his spirit lives on through you. Right. But I must keep practicing, that I might help even more people with my spells. Just watch me, Grandfather. I'll restore the honor of your name if it's the last thing I do. Hey, that was a short one. That's nice. Alright, two more. Let's see what Picoletta is up to. Oh, however will we carry on? Where's our house, Mama? Did the fire eat it? They're just like me. Picoletta. They lost everything. They're sad and hurting and don't know what to do. Sitting there all alone, I thought I'd never smile again. But that's when you and the others found me. You told me I threw my ball so well. Hearing that made me so happy. I felt warm inside again. I realized I wasn't alone in the world. It sounds a little different to uh, from when she battles. But I think it's because that during battle she gels a little bit more. This is more subdued. And now it's my turn to do the same. Wow! Look, Mama! She's amazing! Oh, nice sprite! What are you doing, Miss? I'm juggling! Do you like it? It's incredible! I wish I could do that too! Me too! Well then, why don't I teach you? Picoletta is just like a troop leader. She brought joy to those children. She turned her sadness into a smile to cheer up others. That child can be a ray of light, warming the hearts of those bereft of hope. Oh, that was pretty heartwarming. Also, juggling is quite hard. You can, I mean, I think almost everyone can do it with two balls. 
because I know I can do it, but after that, yeah, it requires a lot of precision, concentration, and skill more than anything. Final story, here we go. After more than an hour and 10 minutes by now. Thank you for journeying all this way to assist us, Medina. I fear the heels in this region are otherwise occupied today. You have my apologies. No need to apologize. You may call on me whenever you're in need. I have two wounded here. One of our own, and an S. Frosty. The cause of all our strife in the flesh. Treating the enemy first? Have you lost your mind? His wound is far more grievous. We must tend to him or he will die. What fealty have we to those who robbed us of our king? Who would drive us to ruin? We may have no fealty to his nation, but we have a duty to him as a man whose life depends on us. Leave your talk of allies and enemies on the battlefield. It has no purchase in a place of medicine. So long as I practice the healing arts, it is my duty to save them both. <sighs> they should be able to get some rest now. That was incredible, Medina. I am sorry for what I said earlier. I was not myself. All is forgiven. At one time, I would not have challenged you. Would that I had your courage. You can. Simply keep your desire to help those in need first and foremost in your mind. The rest is sure to follow. Ah, we are finally done. Okay. Oof. Let's see. Now I want to go to the encampment because I bought some items. I already upgraded my weapons. That's okay. You you didn't need to see that, but I'm going to promote some classes. Let's see. Let's go all the way down. Okay, Erador, yeah, it's a recruit. Sir Maxwell, yeah, it's already a veteran. So, another Medal of Bravery. I wonder who else is going to join us. I mean, we have too many Medals of Bravery. Let's upgrade Erador. Practice makes perfect. Physical counter and on the attack. What does the, those do? Physical counter. Always counter attack upon taking physical damage from a decent enemy. Oh, always. I, I like that. And on the attack. Raise your strength but lower your physical defense for three turns. I see. And desperate defense. Decrease damage taken when HP is at 50 or below. Oh, okay. So this one's working tandem. I see. Okay, now, I also have, I think, yeah, three medals of valor. So, let's upgrade Serenoa first. My blade shall attest to my convictions. Shielding a stance. Take 50% of damage for a selected ally for two turns you can only take damage when within three squares of the target now the question is which of these will i you know what let's go for anna yeah surprise attack increases damage though when taking cover Ooh, all right because i really i know i, I always uh, prioritize Anna. I await your orders. Pri pri prioritize, yes. But I really like her. She can uh, do two things in one turn. She can conceal herself. That's pretty useful. As for the last one, should I give the last one to Maxwell? Divine, Divine Spear. 
Hmm. Oh wow, he has revived. But unlock at level 33. Jesus Christ. I guess I can wait. Maybe you... TP plus on ice. Grants want to get the start of the turn when standing on an icy square. That doesn't sound too bad. What about you, Medina? Lady Luck. Chance to obtain bonus recovery pellet when picking up spoils. Nah. Uh, Picoletta? Oh yeah, I already read this one. Switch places with your clone. But, yeah, th the bad thing is that it's an ability, and, you know, if I use it, I'm just wasting a turn. If it let me act after doing that, yeah, I will totally go for that. Nar? Increases the range of command abilities by one. Hmm. Or maybe my wife. She does the same as quarantine, but with fire. Oh, no, no. Uh, she increases her attack, magic attack, when on a square that is set up place. Roland? Spring in your step. Increase your movement by one. Oh, okay, yeah, Roland. Sure, let's go for, for him. More movement is always good. On my honor as king. All right, for this episode, I won't be using Sir Maxwell because I don't really want to use more time to train him, although I know I will do that off screen. Let's continue the story, finally, after more than an hour at this point, almost an hour and 20 minutes. There are more who accepted Esfrost's rule than I imagined. Glenbrook's history is long. Yet, that is why hierarchy and precedent hold sway. This is a stubborn land, my lady, not given to easy change. Though Archduke Gustadolf, acting in the name of freedom, granted privilege after privilege to the powerful. For people used to Glenbrook's rigid customs, I suppose that sort of change must have been too seductive to resist. Perhaps, but his freedom was not but greed and cruelty. Lady Frederica, I've been searching everywhere for you. A Wolfort messenger. Did you run all this way? What's happened? My lady, I hail from Castle Wolfort, bearing tidings of Lord Simon. Has he awakened? He has. He is in high spirits and recovering well. And he is most pleased to hear of the capital's recapture. He bids you visit Castle Wolfort so he can honor you himself. Oh, I must bring these glad tidings to Saranoa at once. How long it has been since I've seen him smile. There is one more bit of news I have for you, my lady, but it is not so happy. Is there some sort of trouble in the Wolfort Domain? Bandits are laying waste to the Rosellen village. To our shame, Castle Wolfort does not have enough soldiers to stop this. We would beg Lord Serenoa's wisdom in this matter. The enemy must be powerful indeed. We cannot leave the Rosellen village defenseless. Let us inform the others. Messenger, with us. Well, well. Things are about to get interesting. Hmm, maybe there is a battle in this chapter? Hopefully it's not a very big one. After the feeling of Laura, I'm a little tired. I've been playing these episodes back to back. It's uh, 9 p.m. at the, the time coronation of this. ceremony. 
Certainly there are more important matters to focus on right now. I've been playing since, I don't know, 2 p.m. or something? A coronation is important to assuage the people's fears and restore their faith. Besides which, it is the royalists' most fervent wish. Yeah, this, this sounds very suspicious. A kingdom is only truly as strong as people believe it to be. And right now the world believes Glenbrook weak. The ceremony will be a display to the contrary. Is this truly the remedy our situation calls for? Right now, I imagine the people care only for where their next hot meal will come from. Yeah, I feel like this is a setup. They want so he wants us to do the coronation, so we look like an ass in front of the people. Like, oh yeah, look at my display of wealth and might while you still starve to death. Rest assured, sire. House Wolford will see your subjects shan't go hungry. But trust me, when I say nothing will hasten Glenbrook's return to her former glory, so much as announcing the return of Regna's rightful heir. To win your subjects' hearts, you need do nothing but ascend to your position upon the throne. You mean sit my royal backside on a fancy chair? In a manner of speaking, a king's duty is first and foremost serving as his kingdom's symbol. You needn't trouble yourself with day-to-day -day governance. We will assume that burden. After all, you have only just been crowned. There will be no ceremony. The people will tell us what they need, and you will listen to them, Patriot. That is my command. <laughs> As you wish, King Roland. How fair things, Suet. Have the relief supplies been given to those who need it? Well, we had received a sizable shipment of goods from Hyzand, but there are complaints. It seems very few of those goods have made it into the hands of the people. Oh no. Why is that? We aren't certain, though apparently Patriot and the Royalists involve themselves with the distribution. Yeah, I yeah, it's pretty obvious they're trying to sabotage us. Damn those royalists! They cannot be left to their own devices. Okay, uh, no more sight. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's see what's happening in the Hero Fans Palace. House Wolfort and Minister Exham's forces have reclaimed the Crown City. And not only that, they have dealt a heavy blow to the Esfrosty forces in killing Thallus and other commanding officers. We couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Oh, to see Gustadolf's face when he hears the news. Now he'll have no choice but to come crawling to us on hands and knees, begging for salt. Though, this could be our chance to crush the duchy once and for all. Just because they're licking their wounds does not make them easy prey. They still have their iron, after all. Yep. <laughs> iron. We can get iron. Yeah, but you cannot All cast it. All we need do is make Glenbrook hand over the Grand Norzellian mines to us. A paltry price to pay for our bountiful aid in their restoration of the Crown City. The Grand Norzellian mines. The spark that lit the flame of Esfrost's aggression. But why go through the trouble to seize an iron source when they have all the iron they could ever need? I should have Milo look into the matter. You're supposed to be very smart, but you're not making the connection that the salt could be in there? Minister Edor? Well, regardless, we control the salt. I say we bide our time until Esfrost admits they are defeated. Besides, Glenbrook seeks our aid in their reconstruction efforts, do they not? Yes. King Roland and Minister Serenoa have both asked for help, and sent reports detailing the extent of the damage to the Crown City. Send forth a veritable bounty. 
to Minister Serenoa of the Saintly Seven, that is. Ah, yes. A show of the goddess's grace to the people. And as a wedge to drive between him and the king. Esfrost, Glenbrook. They will both be ours before long. Uh, yeah. They are probably going to be the final boss or something. I was thinking, so far we haven't faced, like, monsters in this game. Just people... I mean, the giant eagles are one thing, but we haven't really seen monsters. I I'm saying this because I was thinking of Final Fantasy Tactics. And how much this game reminds me of that. But yeah, it's time to make a choice. Thank you all for helping to determine the extent of the damage to the capital. This information will be invaluable as we proceed with reconstruction. There is also happy word from Castle Woolfort. My Lord Father is awake. They say he is recovering apace and is already up and walking. Hey, Those are nice. glad tidings indeed. He says he would like to see us and hear of all that has passed while he was taken ill. Then what are we waiting for? I'll saddle the horses. Yeah. Would that we could depart at once, but... The messenger brought another piece of news. Bandits plague the outskirts of the Rosellen village. Jerome and his folk are there. They can handle a few mangy thieves, surely. Not according to the messenger. The bandits are proving a formidable foe. Which is why they have asked us for aid. Apologies for my tardiness. It's sudden, I know, but I must ask you a favor. What is it? I suspect Patriot and his royalists are filching the leaf supplies. We've no proof it's them, but the fact remains. The people in most need of those goods are not receiving them. The matter warrants investigating at the very least, and I would ask for Woolfort's assistance. I see. Well, we were just discussing what we ought to do next. Allow me to explain the three courses of action before us. One, return to Castle Woolfort as my Lord Father requests. Two, defend the Rosellen village from bandits. Or three, remain in the capital to investigate the Royalists. Lord Simon has recovered. What splendid news. If I could only go to him myself and thank him for all House Woolfort has done. But I cannot leave the capital in the throes of a possible scandal. Too many hold the royal family in contempt as it is. That may be the case, but now that Lord Simon has awoken, someone must make sure he is healthy and apprise him of recent events. I would go to Castle Woolfort, Lord Serenoa, if it pleases you. Yeah. My heart breaks for the Rosellen village. Let me go to its defense. Even if I must go alone. I cannot allow that. It's far too dangerous a task for one person. Creative creep well, parties. I have the Wolfort soldiers with me, of course. Besides, do you recall our first meeting? Of course I do. You were being assailed by rogues at the port. Oh yeah, I remember that. If you hadn't been there, who knows what would have become of me. But I am not as weak now as I was then. I am stronger. Enough that I shall bring no dishonor to House Woolfort's name. My lord, have faith in me. Let me do this. Very well. Hmm. It seems best that Benedict, Frederica, and I each attend to these pressing matters. Separately. Indeed, but the rest of us cannot be in three places at once. We can only choose one path to take. Bring the scales of conviction. Uh, well, I, I think that can wait. That's that's a non-issue. Besides, if Benedict is going, that's fine. He can inform him. I cannot help but feel restless. We reclaimed the Crown City and have already begun restoration efforts. There should be no questions as to what needs to be done here. And yet something has new settled. Uh... Uh, also, I trust Frederica can deal with some bandits. 
Even if it's just her and Angela, I mean, she's going to take the soldiers. So yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't want to go to the royalist thing, but I think that's what's going to happen. Also, this place looks mighty fine. Ah, and there are items to look for. Don't worry, I see one in the shield in there. Money. Now the thing is, at this point, our party is extremely big. So much that we cannot deploy everyone anymore at the same time. So, I could easily divide everything into three parties. Like, a small bunch can go with Benedict, and two equal sized bunches can go to with Frederica and with Roland. Uh, the steward of House Wolver is my duty to let Lord Simon know what happened while he was ill. Benedict has already chosen a path. Ah, that's that's nice to know. Yeah, let's go outside. Let's look for more stuff outside. It never occurred to me to look like for items inside the the chambers when we're making decisions. I don't know why. The good thing is that I mentioned this before. There are no weapons in this game, so I'm not missing on anything important by not looking for stuff. Unless it's something like a rock, a magic rock. The one to cast like the elemental spells. Lord Serano, I have great tidings things I heard about great things about you. You were appointed one of the same seven and even demonstrated your power. Uh, your prowess is lord of the uh, high house in battle. How should we royalists address you from now on? Lord Saranoa is fine, and always Lord Saranoa to you, Filt. I heard some bandits were spotted on the Orskids of the Rosellian village. Rumor has they were led by some father and daughter. Oh! What were their names again? A father and daughter? That sounds like Travis and Trish. But what could they be after? Huh. If they are the ones in there... Mm, uh, that's why they are struggling. Oh, didn't notice you. I must admit I'm deeply fascinated by you, Lord Serrano, and me by you, believe me. A Lord turns saying we want his kingdom from as frosty clutches and saw the prince back to his throne. I can only wonder how you... Your people will welcome such a hero home. Pray allow me to accompany you, my lord. If I go to Wolfer, I suppose Milo will be coming along with me. Oh, interesting. Will you be returning, my lord? No, 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 no. So I guess she wants to spy on the domain. Especially if Benedict goes with us and explains everything that has happened to my father. Don't mind me looking for items. These fucking trees, I swear I hate them. Like with all my might. You have no idea. Superior timber, good. Well, I guess it's important to find items because things like the superior timber are good for upgrades. And the early, you, the earliest you can upgrade, the better. Superior stone. I guess at some point there may be a shop that sells us what we need in great numbers. But at the same time, it's better to have it as early as possible. One cannot be too true out with this kind of stuff. Ok, 
Okay, let's go back here. There doesn't seem to be anything. I think that's everything that could be found. I don't see any more glimmers. Yeah. All right, let's talk to the people. Our salt reserves are running low. We must restore trade with Heisen as soon as possible. As one of the saintly seven, isn't there anything you can do? You needn't worry so much. The consortium and merchants are already on the move. Let's give them some time. If we rush into negotiations, we may be taking advantage of. It is our best uh, interest to wait the opportune moment. We must have King Roland's permission before we can act. In the meantime, we can share a portion of Wolford's stores with the Crown City. Now, something interesting uh, that I noticed about this story. They mention salt a lot, but they don't really show you its applications. They, are, they just keep telling us that it's very important, but for what exactly? I mean, I know it serves as a spice, and I know it can be used uh, as a way to conserve food. And I can think of, I don't know, maybe some other uses. But at the same time, is that really important? You have magic, if you need to keep food fresh, you can always just use ice magic. Yeah, this one. Let's, I can give you salt if you want. But thank you, sir. The people will be ever so grateful. But you wouldn't mind? Could you please keep this a secret from His Majesty? Haha, <laughs> at least this is for the sake of the kingdom. I roll I know Roland wouldn't mind in the least. Yes, sir. You have put my mind at ease, Wolford. I can't thank you enough. Wolford, Lord Wolford. Sorry, it's a lot of L's. To think King Roland was alive all this time. Your house has my utmost respect respect for helping him reclaim the capital my allegiance to a royal family shall not waver not now not ever that's nice that, that's nice to know random citizen soldier oh i see a glimmer oh no it was just the the sun reflecting on the water we were downright cowards under a frosty rule but hearing stories of House Wolver's courage in reclaiming the capital has inspired us to do better. We royalists, along with Minister Patriot himself, are helping rebuild the capital. We must reserve all the changes that Astros reverse, sorry, all the changes that Astros has brought and see the Crown City back to its former glory. I know that there are many problems facing the kingdom now, but all royalists are more than happy to take care of everything. Let us start King Roland together, please see do domestic affairs and reassure people that everything will be okay. Is it true that the royalists try to win Archiduke's favor in order to protect themselves? If you want our trust, tell us everything you learned about Ethros under the rule. Yeah, this one. I, I, I wish I could, my lord, but I should do Gustadol had us doing only the most menial of tasks. There isn't anything I can tell you. I should have suspected as much. There is no way Gustadol will tell anything to those he couldn't trust. I do remember one thing though, Mr. Patriot said that Lady Erica always wanted fresh fruit and wine brought to her room. I see, thank you for your help. Assholes. Alright, talk to you, there's no one in there. Have I talked to you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I already learned about that. Have I talked to you? Glenbull has breast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you were the one I made the choice with. Okay, I think I talked to everyone in the court, courtyard. I think that's the word. Is there someone in here? There doesn't seem to be anyone else. It will be both funny and a dick move that they ha uh, hide. Uh, they hit an NPC somewhere, like behind those trees that you couldn't see him, but if you get close to the trees, you could press A, and he will start talking. The asshole part comes... Oh, there was an amulet of immunity. Well, isn't that interesting?
Francie Mute. Oh, this is the ribbon of this game. For those who didn't get that, the ribbons are a Final Fantasy staple item. When you equip them, you gain resistance to all status elements. Well, immunity in most cases. Some games have different applications for the ribbon, but that's usually the most recognizable one. It's a good thing I checked. Double checked, even. Yeah, I think that's everything. I really want to protect the Roselle, but I, I already did them a solid, and I, I really want to expel the Royalist from here if possible. We may have freed the capital from as frosty's clutches, but there's still so much work to be done. I... As a member of the Kisgar, I wish to stay here and help unify the Crown City. Uh, we should look into the bandits. No, 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 wait, I don't want to... I'm gonna join you, so... Let's try to convince my wife... No, she doesn't want to, right? The rumors of bandits are true, then your Roman dealers might be in danger. I must go to the village and see how my people are faring. Yeah, she already has chosen uh, a path. Yes. Things are slowly settling down in the capital. Right now, it will be the perfect time to pay the Rosalind village a visit. The rumors of bandits are clearly troubling her. Perhaps you could help her put her mind at ease. Yeah, we have to investigate the royalist. You would like to help his majesty investigate the royalist? I see. Is the issue so, such a pressing one? As Wolfer is the last remaining high house, it's our duty to support the king especially in this time of need. We may have reclaimed the capital, but there's still unrest within the city. I worry what should happen if we leave Roland on his own. Uh huh. I suppose the people aren't exactly welcoming him back with open arms after all that's happened. And out of the realist may be adding oil to the fire. Indeed, it may be unwise to leave his majesty alone. You're a good friend, Lord Serenoa. I don't Serenoa. know what to do. Alas, it seems the Crown City is also in dire need of our attention. Okay. So... That was Gila, now Erador and Anna. This is going to be tight. The Crown Seed is finally back in Glenbrook's hands, but our work is far from Listen, over. Lad. Where do you think we should go from here, lad? Yeah, the Royalist. You think we should stay here and help King Roland, eh? Any reason why? I don't know what to give either Esfros or Heisen the opportunity to kick us where we're done. We must get in. The kingdom back into finding condition as soon as possible. The problem must be resolved if the kingdom is to make a full recovery and it may be to be connection for Rome to handle. Yeah, the first answer. You're onto something. I hear you, we won't the battle, but not the war. If we take too long to get back on our feet, there is no telling who will be come to strike us down next. Which means we have to give both the Crown City and the Royalists our full attention here I and now. I my think gut. it is a fine reason to want to stay. Alright. And finally, Lord Anna. Saranoa. We finally managed to route as Frosty's forces from the capital, but it seems our busy days are not over yet. We must decide which issue requires our attention the most. Yeah, the Loyalist. You would have us investigate the Royalist, my lord? There are many who are unhappy with Rollins' return, and I doubt the Royalist activities are doing him any favors. The Crown City has yet to heal from the previous battle, as the ones who fought in it. It's a responsibility to help restore it to its former glory. Yeah, the first one. The royal is hidden in the shadows during a frosty occupation. I can only imagine how they will use the capital's reclamation to their advantage. We must ensure the crown city does not fall prey to anyone else's wiles. Even so... But the royalists are cunning, one grown move, and we may find ourselves ensnaring the political warfare. As the last remaining high house, I think it's reasonable we stay in the crown city and yet... Oh... Please... This is going to be like real tough. All all three of them have to vote for me. It is time to cast our votes. Oh wait, no, I'm wrong. Okay, I, I have Roland and Huet on my side. We so. have three options before us. Return to the Wolfort domain, depart to the Rosellan village, or stay in the capital. Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. 
Okay, Roland. Good. Benedict. Good. Frederica. Good. I forgot your name. I agree wholeheartedly. Oh, Gila. Thank you, Gila. Anna. You have my vote. Okay, thank you, Anna. Love you. You can be my second concubine if you want. Hewitt, good. And Erador. You won me over. Thank you, Erador. So I got everyone on my side. Well, everyone that could be convinced, of course. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Alto. Hmm. I was thinking, I wish the game wouldn't uh, tell you which characters are helping you until the end. But on the other hand, I think it's better this way. Because if it didn't, like, if you didn't know which characters you convince, you will start thinking that maybe the game cheats when you're not looking. So, yeah. Okay, we got what we wanted. The way forward is decided. We remain in the capital with Roland and investigate the truth behind the royalist plot. Yeah, sorry. I mean, again, I helped Ro the Roselle. They were trained by Maxwell, so I guess they will, they I will be right. I shall remain in the All capital right. and help King Roland investigate the royalists. Uh huh. I'm in your debt, my friend. Having you by my side is a tremendous boon. Then I shall venture to the Woolfort Domain and make our report to Lord Simon in your stead. And I shall see to the Rosellen village. I shan't be gone long, worry not. Then this is farewell for now. Frederica, Benedict, until our reunion in the capital. Benedict and Frederica left the party. Oh, well, this could be a problem. Maybe. Okay, uh, uh, well, I guess I could keep saving on this one. With peace tentatively restored to the Crown City, House Wolfort's members scatter to the far corners of the Domain. Benedict returns to Castle Woolfort alone. Likewise, Frederica tends to her own in the Rosellen village. Serenoa and King Roland, meanwhile, begin investigating a cabal of royalists bent on regaining their lost power and influence. Chapter 15, Part 2, Where I King. Why would you take what little aid the crown has given us? H have you no heart? Watch your words. The royal family entrusted House Conser with the minutiae of daily governance and our priorities have changed. These provisions were deployed without any care and are to be collected and redistributed in line with the royal family's wishes. But we've already eaten the food. Our children were starved, sir. I accept your confession. You shall answer for the crime of embezzling from the crown. You're not serious. We're sorry. Don't apologize to them. They're royalist scum. And they can't take away what they didn't give in the first place. We know Hyzant sent the provisions. The boy's right. House Wolford arranged for them. You've no right to reclaim what you never owned in the first place. Yeah. You pathetic peasants. Do you not see that they are the root of your suffering? I see it as thanks to them that you nobles still have a kingdom in which to parade around and lord your station over us. Neither the royalists nor the crown have done aught to help us. 
You stood idle while Esfrost evaded us, while they ruled us with an iron fist. Okay. She speaks true. And even worse, you nobles rushed to Gustadolf's side. So please decide, are the people uh, happy that they were under Esfros' uh, rule or are they angry? So please pick a choice. You keep changing like, oh, they were they were angry. They were happy now. They were angry. They were happy now. Ugh. Yet here you stand with the gall to accuse us of crimes against the crown. You seek to hide your own treachery. No. I'd sooner bend the knee to Esfrost all over again than have a traitor to the crown darken my door. Not content with embezzlement. You would add treason to your list of crimes. Crimes for which you shall now pay. This is where we arrive. Ah! Oh, fuck. Ah! Oh. No. Mom, Dad. Shit. You fiend. There's nothing noble about you. See, this is why we stayed. We've suffered enough. It's time we fought to keep what's ours. Kill every last one of these traitorous curs. Enough. What do you think you're doing? Cease this madness at once, Patriot. I beg you, calm yourselves. It's Lord Wolford himself. Why have you turned your weapon on the people? Explain yourself. They are not our people. They are filthy insurrectionists who would overthrow the royal family. Stay with me, please, mother, father. Mother, no! So you commit murder in their name? There are as frosty sympathizers in our midst who must be reminded of the royal family's primacy. I will not see the throne usurped again. <clears throat> oh, I thought we were going to fight, so no fight? Really? Really? And you're not telling me, like, if they survive or anything? Uh, let's go to Esfros, Twins Gate. Lord Sfarag, you've been summoned to the capital with regard to the Death Snow. How long do you intend to defy the Archduke's orders? I've no time for his trifling inquiries, now that Glenbrook has been wrested from our hold. I fear an assault on the Duchy is imminent. We must fortify Twinsgate. Such an order would be mine to give, not yours. Be gone! I was a fool to think you could protect the Duchy's lands. The Archduke shall render his judgment. Damn his judgment and everything it has wrought! Leaving that fool Thallus in charge of Glenbrook brought this upon us. I shall pass your words on to him then. See that you do, messenger boy. And let him know that if he wishes for me to follow his orders, he will speak the truth and nothing but. Okay, anything else? No, 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 we are ready. We are ready, ready. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. It's a good thing I didn't upgrade uh, Frederica. Or Benedict, for that matter. The insurrection is quelled for now. Our physicians report that townsfolk and royalists alike suffered grave wounds in the fighting. I 
could take solace only in the fact that no lives were lost. Okay, that's good. You see the same thing as I, do you not, Sir Noah? Patriot and his sympathizers seek to take back by force the power they fear they've lost. They were some of the first to bend to Gustadoff's will. I reckon that guilty conscience is why they're lashing out now. And the people are with them. Resentment against my family grows by the day. I pray I can bring them back into the fold. But the odds are against me. You put it lightly, my king. The strength of Patriot and his ilk lie in their connections. Though it pains me to say it, you'll not rule the kingdom without their cooperation. We must work to change their minds. Nay, time lost is trust lost. We must be swift and decisive. We must seize Patriot and his conspirators at once. I shall banish them from the kingdom myself. I expect we'll have little trouble once we've made an example of Patriot. Stem the tide of this bloody river we find ourselves in, eh? Cordelia's state is an impediment to your plan. The royal physicians, under Patriot's command, tend to her now. They are like as not to take her hostage if you act rashly. That is why we shall seize him in the streets, where he'll not have Cordelia to use as a shield. And people will see the royal family will not submit to an aggrieved royalist. Yes, this may work. Okay, good idea. Lend me your aid, Saranoa. I've not put my title as king, but rebuilding Glenbrook will take might. I have every confidence in your abilities, my king. As does House Wolfort. We stand with you. Thank you, dear friend. You know, it kind of sucks that uh, Sir Maxwell was an optional party member because he could be helping in this cutscene. I don't know why he's an optional party member. Okay, Roland Serno walked the capital streets to see the disorder for themselves. No side stories, no, no. Okay, let's continue because we're already two hours in. Yeah, oof. Pray spare us a crumb, I beg you. Never! You deserve to starve after kissing the Esfrosty boots that crushed our necks! Says the man who bellowed long live the duchy every time he saw one of them walk past. There were scores of us! You plan to report me and half the kingdom for that? This frosty rule has broken our kingdom. And so help me, I shall see it rebuilt under my rule. I should take a walk around town and see what's in the mind of the subjects. Okay, oof. This place is a... Uh, well, a literal disaster, yes, but also... Very hard to look for items in. I see something in here. Okay, money. That's always good. Too bad there is no one selling stuff. I mean, of course it makes sense, but still, it will be nice. Oh, Marvels of Norcelia, volume 13 to notes. All right. First, I'm gonna look for items and then I can... I didn't know there was something in there. I didn't saw no glimmer. Okay, I see something in here. And I see something over here. And I see a pellet, that's nice. Uh, what else? Hmm. 
down here is there something down here ah yeah like it's hard too because the camera just snaps itself into place when you move it around too much I hate that but it's something you learn to live with mm, I'm gonna assume that's all the items so let's start talking to the people the people are tired and the whole kingdom is in turmoil because of the changes in governance the number of people restoring, uh, resorting to crime is growing and we hadn't uh, have enough hands to catch them. Also, I think I see something in here. No? Must have been the water then. King Roland and House Wolf were the ones who took the kingdom back from those damn as frosty curs. You know, those seem limey royalists were the ones, the first ones causing up the king's slaying bastards, and now they are going around to act like they own the damn place. Have they no shame? Well, that's the, that's the first problem. When you invade a country, the first thing you do is execute all the all the governing bodies. Yeah, it throws the place into chaos, but well, it, it's a little price to pay. They're, those no good royalists act like they're doing us a favor when we know they're all hoarding their, rel their relief supplies. This never would have happened under a frosty's watch. You know, I can identify with these people a lot because that's what our government does. It has become like such a joke at this point. For example, during... what was it? Uh, one of... there was a hurricane. I think it was like a year or two years ago. And of course, people from all over the world send relief, relief supplies. Uh, and I remember, what, what was it? What did they send? They sent something like, oh, we sent like 13 of something. But suddenly, when they are, when those things arrived here, there was only 11 of something. So yeah, and that always happens. Like, oh, uh, like Canada sends 200 beds. You mean 150 beds? Oh. That's amazing. I wonder what happened to the other 50. Since there are people who thought us first rule preferral to Glensbrook. If that's the case, then our efforts were for now. My heart sings when I think about how his majesty must have felt. Felt. Working in the Crown City right now is a struggle, to say the least. Those damn royalists are extorting money out of us merchants in the name of reconstructing the capital. Things were so much easier when Esford was in charge. Maybe it's time I took my business elsewhere. I mean, if you're a merchant, yeah, I would uh, advise you do that. Now that the realists have regained their former privileges, they are terrorizing the town. I know King Roland only just returned, but I cannot blame the people for having their misgivings. Serena's convictions has been strengthened. It disgusted me to see people enjoying us for rule like carefree rule, uh, fools. I think it is only fair for those like us who have sworn or undying loyalty to the crown or to lead the people. Patriot and his conspirators don't seem to be around at the moment, but we should take action once we do find him. Relief supplies are meant to ease the people's suffering, not make the rich richer. Yeah, I totally agree. That bastard Patriot, I can't believe he goes so damn far to his line to line his own pockets. But yeah, if you wonder what, what happened to relief supplies, they are usually either resold or used to further political campaigns. And by that I mean, usually during a political campaign, at least in this country, what they do is, okay, let's let's say I'm, you know, the... I, I'm one of the parties, right? Let's say I'm the blue team. As a blue team member, or in this case the boss, I go around making campaign speeches and everything, but also giving people like gift bags, right? They contain basic things, you know, your milk, your tuna, things like that, your rice, your beans. 
And that's where all of those stolen supplies come from. They are supposed to come out of our pockets, but... Yeah, that's what the government does. Or at least the political parties and then the government. The last battle was rough in all of us. Even my little girl got hurt but big time. I know as frost is the cause to all of this, but still. Okay, let's talk to Hewitt. Now that King Roland is on the throne, I was thinking of recruiting new members to the King's Guard. But it will take time for time for things to settle down after our last battle. And finding reliable people to join our ranks won't be easy. To tell the truth, I'm a bit of a loss. Three options. You will need both round and brain to get the capital back on its feet. It certainly weren't hurt that they could handle multiple tasks either. It is time to do away with the king kingdom's acquaintance antiquated practices. You should appoint those with, with skill, man or woman, regardless of their social status. Roland's safety comes first. Only those who can completely be trusted shall be allowed near him. Yeah, this one. Indeed, there is no telling who may be lurking in the shadows, waiting to strike. It may be... It may sound tedious, but fighting trustworthy uh, guards may be the quickest way to fill our ranks. But there is no rush, especially if doing so means exposing King Roland to danger. I must be careful with my search. Yeah. There are some jobs that do require a lot of a lot of searching for. For people, they have to run a lot of investigations, background checks, things like that. But I find it sad that one of those jobs doesn't do it as often, at least in this country. I don't know about yours. But yeah, teachers. They, since they don't pay teachers that much money, there are no many people who want to be teachers. And from the ones that want to be teachers, some of them are not people you want near children if you catch my drift. So yeah, it's uh it's really bad that they hire basically anyone as long as they have the knowledge to without doing proper checks because uh the public education system is understaffed, underpaid, and that's why why they basically don't care. Also, the people on the very top are so uncaring about what's happening down down there that even if they find you did something, you know, inappropriate with a child, they would rather send you to another school than to, you know, uh, expel you or call the police. To be honest, I know problems facing the kingdoms are many, but I don't know what I should do about them. Although that only happens if if it's not on the news, right? Because if if it's in the news, of course people are gonna like want to hang him. I cannot even say for sure my first priority as a king should be. You must restore the royal family repute. You need to face both the nobles and people with an unwavering resolve. Nah. You will need funds for reconstruction. Why not tax nobles and wealthy merchants? That's a good idea. You seem overwhelmed, my friend. Why not take a walk around town as you always have? It may clear your mind. Yeah, destroy town? No. Yeah, let, let's put tax on the nobles and wealthy merchants. I heard that some people were able to line their pockets quite nicely under as first rule. I think I should uh, like to tax them first. I know they may be some opposition, but I'm sure I could gain the people's understanding this is for the crown city after all i think that's everyone i like that to you sir this is cause me to see oh yeah, 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 yeah what about you i have to do whatever they really say i feared what they will do to me if i don't know i haven't talked to him but i have now what about you sir the last battle was rough on us even my oh yeah 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 What? Oh damn it! I didn't read what he said. I I, I was hoping like he would he let me return. It wasn't all bad on the last for room. The archduke gave us freedom. Some profited, some didn't. You will no doubt hear different stories depending on who you like to talk to. How do I get out? Oh, it seems their opinions are less than favorable. I should regroup with Roland and the others now. 
two hours and twenty. Oh, please let this battle not be too long. You misunderstand, surely. Why must I pay so much to simply reopen my stall? We know that you did business with the Isfrosty army. They made you quite wealthy, as I understand it, and Glenbrook saw none of your ill-gotten gains. Nonsense! We were free to do business as we pleased under the Duchy's rule. <laughs> A bold statement. One that could be easily taken as criticism of the Crown. It sounds to me as though you wish to incite an insurrection. I... I, I would never... Please, I, I can pay. Just let me pay and be done with it. Of course you can pay. That is the duty of every subject in Glenbrook. But what of your words which wound the royal family so? A tithe, then, for our beloved and benevolent royal family. Pray deliver it to them, good sir. I see you've learned your lesson. King Roland will be glad of it. That shameless cur. I can bear no more of this, your majesty. Nor can I. Seize Patriot. Okay, here we go. Recommended level 24. Good thing I'm 25, 26 at this point. Oh, look, the little uh, Benedict icon and the Frederick icon are here, huh? Well, yeah, let's see Patriot. I should have saved before that, but whatever. Thank you, Autosave. You are my hero. Ah, your majesty. Sent the Wolfort dogs to sniff around at me. Nay, I saw all of it with my own eyes. You shall be punished for invoking the royal family's name to line your own pockets. And then who will help you rule your precious kingdom? Hmm? House Wolfort? I think not. You're a fool if you think you can rule hand in hand with your vassals. You were being used, but are too blind to see it. You're just a, uh, uh, like... You are just another vassal of my, of, I mean, of Roland's kingdom. What are you talking about? I would do no such thing. I, everything is of my own will, and mine alone. Your will. <laughs> You're as naive as I feared. Glenbrook cannot be ruled with the iron fist of the Esfrosti, nor the religious zeal of the Hyzantians. No, Glenbrook must be ruled with careful mediation between the royal family and its loyal subjects, and that is why you need us. Not really. King Regna and Prince Franny understood this so well, I assumed their aptitude to be hereditary. Oh, don't get them involved in this. suggest I am not fit for the throne? Suggested. I know it to be true. Why else would I dirty my hands if not to make you face the truth? You have lost the ability to distinguish between friend and foe, and now House Wolfort shall usurp the throne. Hold your tongue, or I shall have you charged with treason. Surrender quietly, or be cut down where you stand. If only you had known your place, but you just had to follow your full convictions. You have poisoned King Roland's mind long enough, and now you must die for it. So help me. I will open your eyes to the truth, my king. Brother, I come to your aid. Cordelia? Cordelia, what are you doing here? I overheard the healers talking amongst themselves. The people suffer at Patriot's hand. I cannot lie abed in the face of such cruelty. Are you well enough to fight? Am I not a member of the royal family? I will fight for our people in any condition. I wasn't expecting that. I see that. it is obstinance that runs in the family. So be it. Clearly you've outlived your usefulness. Cordelia joined your forces, all right. 
Ismael is still with us. Cordelia is aptitude in battle. Oh, so she's a party member. Uh, a healer who refuses to see her allies suffer bo boost, uh, boasts a variety of powerful healing spells, some of which are require a sacrifice in return. Interesting. Okay, defeat Patriot, allow Roland to fall. Uh, it's a good thing I upgraded Roland. Okay, sorry, there was a little hiccup in the recording, but we're back. Alright, so I haven't done anything really. Uh, let's check Cordelia. She has a silver rod. Let's see here. Oh, she can cast Regan. Grant Regan to an ally for three turns, it automatically restoring a little HP at the start of her turn. Heal, of course, restore and recover TP. Passive skill grants 1 TP when not moving on your turn. That's nice. Healing region grants HP to allies within range. So far, I haven't seen anything that requires a sacrifice. So, yeah, let's keep her accessories. Uh, defense amulet, of course. And. I can give her another defense amulet. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. So yeah, the conditions is defeat the enemies and the losing condition is let... Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, defeat Patriot and allow Roland to fall. There's a lot of enemies in here. Where's Patriot? First of all, we're gonna have to... Oh, we're surrounded. Where are you, you damn coward? Oh, wait, you're here. Alright, well... Yeah, uh... I don't really need experience. So, in order to make things quick, I'm just gonna bomb rush him. Let's see if I can do this in half an hour. But yeah, uh, no, I don't want Hosabara. Let's see everyone else. Uh huh, uh huh. Gila, uh, I don't know, Gila. No, Erador. Okay. As you wish. No, you. Jesus, never you. I got this. I wish I could use your Maxwell, but uh, he's too low level. Okay, two more. I'll do my best. Hmm. Should I place you? I mean, there's a lot of water around us, but I don't think we can, you know, stand on the in it. Hmm, maybe I do want to use Erador for once. Just to have someone bulky. But he also doesn't move that much. Which is super annoying. Osabara, I'm not using her because she's not upgraded. To battle with pleasure. Yeah, I better place Erador. Let's place you uh, here. Yeah, like that. And I want to play Sana here. Yeah, because if I place people in here, they are gonna have to walk around this, so... I better center them a little better. There. Maybe you want to be... The... Yeah, like that. Okay, we are ready. 
So let's bomb rush this guy. You would dare attempt such treachery when we've only just reclaimed what is rightfully ours? You've reclaimed nothing. Glenbrook lost its king, then suffered the Esfrosty invasion. We barely had time to catch our breaths before a new king was crowned. Those who bent the knee to Esfrost have thrived. Those who resisted are dead or dying. The nobles and commoners have never been further apart. Do you think this land will unite under you? You're damned right it will. I'll restore this kingdom to its rightful glory. The only reason the, the, the people and the nobles are further apart is because of people like you. Okay, let's summon a decoy in here. Whoopsie. Time to work. Let's see. Okay, let's use a rock. I have many of those. You're not weak to fire. Are you weak to ice? No. You are not weak to anything. All right. For you. You won't catch me. You'll pay. Use your heads. My turn. This is where you fall! Don't worry about them. I'll take you on! Uh, maybe I want to use a sprint. Show me what you're made of. Yeah, like that. The hunt is on. Do I want to hit? Yeah, let's hit the uh, healer yeah. first. Just ignore them. Forward. That one may be able to hit me. Oh, or not. Damn it, hit the decoy, not Roland. I'll do my utmost. Double items. Hmm, actually, instead of double items. Yeah, the fast acting medication, I could use. Oh wait, but Roland doesn't have any points, and Serenoa doesn't either. Hmm, maybe Erador. Huh. I could use Erador to attract. Or maybe I want to use double items. Let's see how much can I do with the, yeah, the, the range items. Not much, it seems. This guy is weak to ice, but... Nah... If I, if I walk here... Sorry, and use double items... I could hit all three. Because I, I want to get rid of them as soon as possible. Try that certainly worked. 
try that. That certainly worked. Here I come. Do I have... Okay, I can reach him with that. Or Scorch. I don't think a stone would help me, right? Also, shouldn't I be able to... Let's see, to... You can only walk four squares. So, wait. Yeah, why can you... Not stand in here? Is this area, like... Not walkable or something? Yeah, the range items do nothing, so... Poker! Also, why is the guy escaping? Where was I? Okay. Hmm, I see bread could work. Hmm. Wait. Deal size type magic damage to all enemies standing on icy squares within range and on freeze the target squares. So if I stand here and use icy thumb, nah, too bad I don't have like enough reach. So let's just use this one and hit these three idiots. Three. You dear brother my sister your skills and healing are a boon to all and so the royal family stands united patriot you will answer for your misdeeds let's go okay she has a lot of movement yeah heal i'll do what i Sorry can to worry you where do you know? Can I kill someone? It's a big maybe. Oh, damn it, really? Yeah, I, I will have to be, be uh, like behind this guy so to do a regular attack so Roland could help me. Uh, I guess I'll just use a stone. Maybe I can do it from a safe range. Yeah, seems like it. Yeah. Perfect. I'm so glad I bought those items. Hmm. Okay. Can I put you to sleep, my man? Sleep. Yes, I, I can. I feel stronger already. None of you will survive this. Strike true, my narrow. Come at me. Those guys are getting closer, but I'm all right. Uh, yeah, I guess run full. Out of my way. Charge. Mm, can I kill? Oh, you have full HP. I didn't even notice you. Okay, I can kill this one. Did you see that? For my or not? Did you see that? Oh, there we go. Whoops, I don't know. Yeah, like that. Here I come. Oh, what are you weak to, by the way? Uh, resist poison, silence, and sleep, temptation, and insta dead. Oh, but you don't resist bind. Say hello to my friend, the shadow stitching arrow. Take him. 
You're making a grave miscalculation. Under what pretense do you lay the blame at my feet? You'll not find a greater royalist in these lands. Tell them, Cordelia. You know what I did. Indeed. I sought your counsel while under Gustadolf's rule. But those who would sow discord between the people and the royal family must be destroyed. For the honor of House Wolfort. Yeah, maybe you... Oh, the lane strike doesn't really do anything for you. All right, well, let's kill the healer then. Now I end this. They are getting closer. Very, very Whatever close. Whatever it takes. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. Uh... Are you weak to something? No. All right. Try this. Why is that guy running? Why is he so scared about? A scare for? Oh. I hope you're watching, grandfather. Or maybe they are were going for Nar. I attacked him with fire, did I? Uh, whatever. Hmm, maybe I want to use Sanctuary? Yeah, to heal Roland. But I also feared that soldier. Ooh. Uh, to all enemies. To an enemy. Yeah, I I rather use a spark on this guy. Don't be afraid. Ah, he's paralyzed. Where was I? Are you weak to an element? Nope. Should I worry about those soldiers? Nah, let's continue. I see through you. My apologies. She has a lot of range. Where's like, she basically ma makes Gila useless. Also, yeah, as you can see, I have a lot of range with my items thanks to Item Launcher. Does the large one? That deals more damage. 422 and the regular one? 430, yeah. So let's use the large one. Yeah. Your orders? Allow me. Yeah. Uh. A sound strike. Yeah. You'll pay for this. Yeah. Come at me. Um, yeah, I don't want to do that because I will send him, you know, flying. Right now, it's not a good idea. Can I provoke him? Is he like... Sorry, up. Resist temptation. Is temptation the same thing as provoke? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, let's try to uh, provoke him. I'll be your shield. Hopefully it worked. I won't lose. Okay, this one is the most powerful. My last yeah, strike's yeah. true. Die already. 
You have earned your reputation well, Wolfort. Here I thought I was prepared. I believe he has suffered enough. Might we show him a measure of mercy? Nope. Now is no time for mercy. The royal family must rally together. We must expunge all who would tear us apart. Time to take flight. Okay, let's try Shadow Stitching Arrow again. Although he's already binded. Can I blind you? Yeah, seems like it. Well, let's try it. Darkness yeah. engulfs you. Nope. Not yet. Alright, let's move. Actually, let's form a, a small front in here because I know the enemies are going to try and get us. So let's just use the the weaker characters as meat shields while while the heavy hitters deal with the boss. Whatever it takes. Hmm, you know what? Let's use fast acting medication on it could be Anna, no, not Sarah Noah. You know what? Let's place it on Roland. Thank you. My turn. Take uh, that. Uh, He's almost already. done for. Forward. Whoops. I should have placed Roland like in here. That's my bad. Not so fast. Like what? What's with that guy? It's he, he's becoming like a meme at this point. I'll show you what I can do. Well, I'm already here, but I don't have any points. So let's use. I already use a lot of those. Yeah, this one is fine. Take that. Uh, I'd rather just stay here. I'll do my best. And I give you uh, let me give you like a toy to play with. Yeah! I did it. Steady now. Let's see if you can finish this off. Uh Yes. It will take more than my head on a pike to unite the people. They are driven by more than vengeance. Yeah, they are also driven by hunger, and guess who has been keeping them hunger, uh, hungry? You have sealed your family's fate. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just I shut up. I swore to restore Glenbrook, and I shall see it done no matter the cost. I thank you for your service, Patriot. Alright. Oh, and a Medal of Valor. That's great. You are a true hero, Cordelia. We would be lost without you. I did what needed to be done. I mean, no one dies, so... My fair people. Patriot's tyranny ends here. Know that he suffered a punishment befitting his crimes. Now we can restore our home in peace. Pray, good sir, why do you quake with fear? No harm can befall you now. Thank you, my king. I shall pay what tax I owe in due course. You have my word. Please, have mercy. <laughs> Whatever do you... <laughs> Welcome home, King Roland! Gaze upon what your flight from the kingdom hath wrought! Silence! Esfrost's aggression is the cause of this! 
Oh or boy. So you'd like us to believe. Uh -huh, what now? Did you see how ruthlessly he cut down his trusted advisor, Patriot? King Roland is a fearsome tyrant indeed. S. Frost was never so cruel. If anything, I gotta give this game like an A plus on like realism. You would think people in real life wouldn't be like that, but let's say these two years has shown us otherwise. <clears throat> I promise you, they will understand in time. I pray you're right. Is that not the girl whose parents were attacked by Patriot's men? Did they attacked die? Attacked and gravely wounded, yes. I fear there's not I could say that would make amends for what happened. How fair your parents? <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Why? Why would you do that? What in the... Hold! I beg your forgiveness. She's not been herself ever since... Ever since our parents passed. But there were no casualties. Not officially. The physicians refused to admit them. Oh, for the love of God. They tended to the wounds of the Royal Guard and Princess Cordelia first. We... we couldn't staunch the bleeding on our own. No! I had no idea. Liar! You told them to do it, didn't you? You killed our parents! I didn't. I would never order such a thing. Well, that's some Patriots, not like Roland. But also, don't we have like one, two, three, and with Cordelia, four, four healers in our party. And you're telling me that none of them at no point in this whole story, like, oh, like, occurred to them, like, oh, yeah, it may be a good idea that I tend to the wounded. I don't know what to... They... Please forgive us. We won't speak ill of the royal family ever again. We'll do as we're told. Heavens forbid, should we commit a crime, I shall bear the punishment. Just... Just promise to leave my dear sister alone. This isn't your fault. She's right. You brought none of this upon yourselves. I bid you lay the blame at my feet. You know, a lot of this could have been solved if instead of Patriot, someone from House Wolford would have been assigned to, you know, do that. You know, like who? You want to know like who? Like me, Sir Noah. Or you want to know who's best for that? Benedict. Hey, Sir Noah, buddy, pal, friend, BFF, could you like... Lend me Benedict Well, you know, we sort all of this out. I know you're busy being part of the Saintly Seven and your uh, saintly duties don't allow you to be here all the time. But hey, uh, maybe Benedict, your most trusted advisor and was shown to be like super level headed during all of this. Maybe he could try to help us. You know, just a little bit. Bit a bit a bit a bit a bit.
Do not dwell on this, my king. You could not have known. Pray let me remain Roland to you if no one else. The crown rests heavy upon my brow. Of course. Then let us speak as equals. As friends. That is all I ask. Vengeance blinded me, Sarah Noah. I was willing to do whatever it took to settle the score and save my sister. I thought defeating Esros would be enough. That I could restore both my kingdom and people to their former glory. And you have, true to your word. But at what cost? Those children are orphans now. Who knows how many others have suffered the same fate? <sighs> how many innocent lives will be lost? How many people will I fail to protect? This is not your burden to bear alone. I was there beside you, and yet the outcome was the same. Bear it I must, else I will be doomed to repeat it. Where you offer comfort, I see only excuses. Yet I remain every inch the fool, for my hatred of Esros grows with each passing second. It is those dogs who must answer for this. Our people would still be whole if not for the misbegotten war they started. And you have lost your family too. I cannot deny you the rage you feel. You are always kind to me. In my heart of hearts, I know Glenbrook cannot truly be fixed. Perhaps it was broken from the start. We must rebuild our nation from the ground up if we are to set things right. How do you mean? We need something the people can rally around. Like the Hyzantians and their goddess. And we have you, King Roland. Yes, I thought so too. But I alone, nay, not even the royal line can... Forgive me, your highness, but Frederica and Benedict have returned. Oh, good news. Finally, something good. I think it would be wise to finish this conversation with the others. Oh god, we're about to hit the three hour mark. I feel the same. Thank you for allowing me to speak my mind. Maybe I should have divided them to this you episode like two episodes me. like I Rather, said. Are you sure you're All is well. Trust me. All right. If you say so. So long as you are by my side. That sounded kind of gay, but whatever you say, bro. Where I can complete it. Oof. Yeah, that's the end of the episode. So, anyways, enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Have something to say? Comment down below. One more. Please subscribe. If this video ending, you can bet it is. So, I think so much for watching. Goodbye.